Superman. When I was a kid, I used to think it was called a sword throat. And I was like, oh, there's a sword in my throat. That's why it hurts so much. I just have to pull it out. And I would get a flashlight and go to the mirror and try and find the sword. It wasn't until I was much older that I learned it's a way more boring and double-crossing sickness. Acute pharyngitis, thank you, scrubs, is caused by your lymph nodes trying to help you. The lymph nodes posted in your throat are like the Border Patrol and they screen blood cells for any foreign bacteria. You're good. You're good. Well, wait. What are you guys? And we're just blood cells, too. And the Border Patrol is like, no way. And they blow up, creating a swollen wall to try and prevent any bacteria from entering. And then they call for more security. So the immune system orders the bone marrow to send out antibodies to assist at the border. And an intense skirmish erupts between the lymphocytes and the antigens. And they tear each other apart, throwing each other against the wall, bouncing on heads. And that's why it hurts to drink water. I got a C in biology, by the way. But I got an A in political science. How come a lot of sitcoms depict a cold as just having to blow your nose a few times? And that's it. I'm sick. I've been sick all week. Can't you tell? I'm pretty certain this type of cold is pure fiction. Because every time I have a cold, it feels like two cinder blocks crushing the side of my head. And I can't function. I'm tired. And I have the patience of a bull. Who the heck is calling me when I'm sick? As bad as it is, though, there are some perks to getting sick, like calling in sick to work. It's a day off. But this happened once where I called in sick to work. I'm sick. I can't make it in for my shift today. I hate you. Same. But the thing was, I wasn't actually sick. But then, like, a week later, I really did get sick. So, whoops. I guess I have to show up to this shift, otherwise they know I was lying before. And I was really sick. So I chugged an entire bottle of Dayquil before I showed up to work, in which I was a waiter. Don't tell the Food and Drug Administration. But I was like death and completely out of it. What is this? I ordered the filet mignon with Bordelais sauce. Filet mignon. This is bread with a napkin in the middle. Uh, Thank you. Would that be all? I noticed when people get really sick, they, including me, will try the dumbest things to get better. It says right here, rubbing your face against the asphalt can help relieve tension in the nostrils. All right, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> or you can try and do the African song dance of healing. Hey, whatever helps. Or you could try the neti pot. Uh, it seems stupid. And it is stupid. Nothing's dumber than the neti pot. If you don't know what the neti pot is, it was originally a water torture device used in the Russian gulags repurposed as a sinus remedy. The way it works is you just take a bucket of water, snort the entire thing up one nostril, then blow it out your ears. Just do that every hour for 48 hours, and your sinuses will be like new. But people will do it, including me, because that's how much we hate having a cold. It blows my mind that we still don't have a cure. We've spent millions on research, and what do we have to show for it? Dayquil and an in-home torture device? If you go to the doctor and tell them you have a cold, they just go, I'm gross. That's it. Grant money well spent. My nose is stuffed. My throat hurts. Can't you do anything? (coughs) 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 And that's when you realize maybe having a cold isn't the worst thing on this planet. Whether it's torching yourself for just a moment to have clear sinuses again, or just trying to make it through your shift at work, you know after a few days, you'll make it out okay. And maybe that's the best cure us people with a cold have, knowing one day, it'll soon be better. (coughs) What's wrong with her? (laughs) She has acute pharyngitis. We're just trying to make her as comfortable as we can. That's all we can do. What? We need to admit there is a problem at this stage. Things are happening we do.
do not know The conspiracy theorist is in his ripe old age In his beard no longer grows